Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Magic's Movie Edit Pro 2019 Chroma Key Tool. So the first thing we'll do is open up our web browser and we'll go and download these two video clips. So we've got this one here of this smoke effect. If I quickly play it you'll see it like this sort of smoke effect and it's got a green screen right it's got green in the background we're going to remove that green so we'll click free download 1280 by 720 click download here and we download one other video clip and i'll put links to these video clips in the youtube description so you can follow the tutorial i'll click free download 1280 by 720 as well so we we'll download these two video clips we'll open up this folder and we'll drag and drop them into the folder we'll close this and then we'll open up magic smooth edit pro Okay, we've got a software uploaded. I'm just going to create the project, and the first thing I'll do is drag and drop in this blast effect, and I'll put it onto the second timeline here, and I'll click adjust. So we'll just drag it down once. So we've got this here, and then I'm going to take the um, this this guy doing his moves. I'll drag that into Magic's Movie Edit Pro as well. So we've got these two video clips stacked like this. You can't see the other guy because this chroma key is covering it. So let's click on the chroma key. In fact, the first thing I'll do is click on this video clip and I'm going to turn the audio off. So I'm going to click here and drag down so it's got no audio. Now, I'll click on the green screen here, this blast effect. I'll go to effects here and then I'll go to the chroma key and I'll click on green here. Now you can see all the green has been removed and you just got the guy with the smoke effect here. So the first thing I'll do, we might as well do a little bit of work in here. So let's just try and work with this, this chroma key. So I'll show you maybe how I'll use this chroma key inside Magic Smooth Radio Pro. So the first thing I'll do is reduce the size of it. So I'll click on the chroma key here. I'll position the clip around here somewhere. And I'll go to the size and position. And I'll turn off maintain proportions here. I'll click inside here and just resize it to maybe something a bit smaller, something like this and I drag and drop it into position, right? Somewhere like here for now. So let's move back on the timeline and his hand hits the floor at this position here. So I'll move the smoke to this position here, like this. So as his hand hits, the smoke will show like this. So his hand hits here. So I'm gonna move the green screen across so it doesn't show until his hand hits the floor. So this beginning part, you can see it's like, there's no smoke, then his hand will hit the floor, then the smoke will show. So I want the smoke to only be like this sort of duration. So I'm going to click here and cut the clip, cut it. And I'll delete all of this green screen part. I don't really need it. So here you can see the, the sort of smoke. In fact, we might extend that a little bit. So let's see, let's make it about this long, uh, something like this here. So I'll cut this and get rid of this, delete it. And all I want to do is position the smoke for where his hands here, right? So we might make that a little bit smaller. So let's click on the size. Let's click on this clip here. I'm just going to reduce its size a little bit more to something like this. And we drag and drop it to here. So his hand hits the floor, the smoke will show. Something like this. And then his second hand hits here, right? So what I'll do is I'm going to cut the clip here. Cut it. And get rid of this part. Don't really need that. And then I'll select this clip, copy it, and paste it. And then I'm going to click and drag back here. So this video clip, I want it to show when his other hand hits the floor, right? So that's about here somewhere. Let's see. Here, right here. Here. So I'll drag this clip to that position here. So now when we move through, you'll see the smoke here, it will disappear. And then it will hit here again and the smoke will appear. And then maybe we'll show it like on every other hand. So it hits here, the hand. So we'll click this clip here, Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And then we'll just move it into the right position. So we'll drag this over to where his hand is here. So it's like every other hand. So here, then there. We could probably position this one a little bit better. And then here, so we copy this one, Control C, Control V, paste it. Let's find out where his hand hits the floor. It's like around here. 
So we drag this across, drag the smoke to his hand here. And this is really a rough edit. I'll do. I'll spend a bit more time on this, right? Uh, let's see. This one we moved in the wrong place, so let's just put that into the right place. We moved the wrong clip, so let's move that to here. We'll bring it down a little bit. It's this one here, so click on this clip and drag it to where his hand is here. Then we need one here, so copy this, paste it, click it, click on the clip. Let's just stop that. And then his hand hits here. And then on this one here, Control C, Control V. Let's see. Right there, so we drag this back. Let's move this one to where his hand is. Here. So that's it. That's pretty much how you use the chroma key. That's just a basic example. Obviously, you can do much better than this, but this one's off, off, off place, isn't it? This one. So let's grab this and drag it here. Let's just give it a quick play. So that isn't too bad, it come out okay. So that's how you use the green screen chroma key. Now when you click on the chroma key, and when you click on the chroma key tool, there's different options here. So you might have black, you might have white, blue, different colors. So you can pick the relevant color depending on what color the background was for the chroma key. So in this case, the blast effect had green, but sometimes you'll see blue. If you create these clips yourself, you can maybe the content inside of the clip was like a, a green color, right? It was green smoke, so then the background might be black. And if, if that's the case, then you'd select the black option here, right here. So you need to experiment with it and play around with the settings. And you can just use the chroma key like this. It's pretty straightforward. This was just a rudimentary example, but it was more about how to use it rather than making it look spectacular. Okay, so that's how you use the Magic's Movie Edit Pro Premium 2019 chroma key tool. Let's minimize this. That's the end of this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.